Camille Monfort Wikipedia. Camille Monfort Wikipedia, Bellum, Singer, 1869-1896, Brazil, Amazonia. With the selling of rubber from the Amazon to the globe in 1896, Bellum became wealthy. Farmers there became instantly wealthy and used European materials to construct their luxurious houses. The Theatre of Paz, which hosted performances by European artists, served as the hub of cultural life in the Amazon. Among them, Camille Monfort, 1869-1896, a stunning French lyric soprano, attracted the public's attention the most. Her extraordinary beauty inspired wild cravings in the rich lords of the area and horrifying jealousy in their wives. Camille Monfort sparked controversy as well for her unconventional behavior at the time. She was spotted dancing in the streets of Belém while half-naked to the afternoon rain and going for solitary nighttime strolls along the Guajara River while wearing long, flowing black dresses. Within a short period of time, stories about her started to circulate and gave rise to negative remarks about her. She was rumored to have been Francisco Bologna's lover. He was said to have brought her from Europe and bathed her in his mansion's bathtub with very expensive champagnes imported from Europe. It was also claimed that she had been attacked by vampirism in London due to her pallor and sickly appearance, and that she had brought this great evil to Bethlehem. She was said to have had a mysterious urge to drink human blood and had even been known to hypnotize young girls. It was also rumored that she would have the ability to communicate with the dead and materialize their spirits in dense ethereal mists of ectoplasmic materials expelled from her own body in mediumistic sessions which, curiously, coincided with reports of fainting in the theater premises during his concerts, which were explained as just the effect of the strong emotion produced by his music in the public's ears. They were without a doubt the first examples of what would later be known as spiritism in the Amazon, which was practiced in occult sects in Belém palaces like the Palacite Pinho. Camille Monfort perished and was buried in the cemetery of Soledade as a result of the terrible cholera outbreak that decimated Belém at the end of 1896. His grave is still there today, covered with moss, slime, and dried leaves. It is located behind a large mango tree, which casts a deep shadow over it and only occasionally lets through a few rays of sunlight. It is a neoclassical mausoleum with a gate secured by an ancient, rusted padlock through which a female bust in white marble can be seen over the open lid of the abandoned tomb. A small framed photograph of a woman wearing black is also mounted to the wall, and the following is written on his tombstone. Camille Marie Monfort, 1869-1896. However, there are still many who maintain that Camille Monfort is still alive in Europe at the age of 154 and that her grave is empty and that her death and burial were nothing more than a cover-up for her vampirism. Don't forget to visit her tomb when you are at the Soledade Cemetery in Belém, and don't be concerned if the rose has turned red on another day. Bosco Chanson is the author of the text that appears above Vampira di Amazonia. Bosco Chanson, who resides in Belém du Pera and collects enigmatic instances and local lore, posts his collection of cases on the blog, Bornal. He is the author of the book After the Afternoon Rain, in which he reinterprets the narrative of Orpheus and Eurydice using Amazonian mythology and examines the parallels between the Bodo legend and European vampire stories to develop a vampire fiction based on historical occurrences in the city of Belém. Conclusion Friends, in the above video we have given complete information about Camille Monfort Wikipedia, Belém, Singer, 1869-1896, Brazil, Amazonia. I request you to please do like share the video and also please subscribe us for more videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.